Yeah, good morning to you. So news uh, just coming in. What's the reaction from the governing party? Has there been anything forthcoming uh, from them? What we do know clearly is that I've just gotten off the phone with the ANC spokesperson, Pule Mabe. He says that they are in the middle of drafting a statement and he will be also speaking to various media houses once they've finalized their media statement in alerting the ANC membership and the South African public on the passing of their former treasurer. General, remember that Mendem Simang was the Treasurer General of the ANC during that period where the much talked about arms deal was being negotiated, where you find now one of the men who was central to that arms deal, the former Deputy President and President of the ANC and former MEC of KwaZulu Natal Jacob Zuma in court. But that's a side issue. Mendem Simang was the Treasurer General under the first term of uh, former President Tabumpig of the ANC after that Mahikeng conference in the Northwest where uh, Winnie Matigazala Mandela was prevented from uh, accepting the Nomination or consulting branches. So it was that. Uh, That's a 1997 uh, conference which elected Tabon Pegi. Mm, it was a 1997 yeah. conference which elected Tabon Pegi and saw Tabon Pegi uniting with former President Jacob Zuma, who was his then deputy president, after Winnie Mandela was uh, refused to consult branches from the Free State and other regions, such as Gauteng, whom had nominated her for the deputy presidency, Mendem Simang coming out uncontested, if I am not mistaken, at that conference in Mahike. But also important, uh, Samgela, we're talking about uh, Mendim Simang here, the veteran of uh, the party. We know that he also served under uh, Walter Sisulu in the youth league mm. of uh, the 1940s. Yes, you go to the formation of the ANC Youth League in 1944, where uh, Walter Sisulu was there elected alongside Mendim Simang. You remember that illustrious generation of the 1940s, which went on to lead the ANC for a number of decades, if I'm not mistaken taken that last generation to lead the ANC was possibly just after the 1997 Mahikeng conference. A vast majority of them went on to usher the, the, the armed struggle of the African National Congress with the persuasion of the likes of Chris Hani and others. You remember the ANC's uh, contentious conferences which uh, we have, we have been in history, the likes of uh, the Hani Memorandum, the, the Morogoro Conference. That youth league also had an influence within that Morogoro Conference, an influence a younger generation of radical leaders like Winnie Mandela, Nelson, uh, Nelson Mandela, whom formed part of that generation, whom was roped into the African National Congress by Walter Sisulu, by the way. So you look at that illustrious uh, generation of the ANC, which has been largely... Uh, which has been perceived as the A-League of the African National Congress when they look into how some of them went on to Robben Island. So it looks as if it is indeed the end of an era which of a stalwart of generations that guided the ANC. For instance, you look at uh, Jacob Zuma, the former president, he sometimes alludes to some of these struggle stalwarts besides what had transpired going towards that conference in December where large, a, number, a large contingent number of them had uh, washed their hands off Jacob Zuma. He sometimes says he went to some of these leaders for consultation to talk to them. You look at the likes of uh, Eric Stalin Mjali from KwaZulu Natal who just passed away. He also comes from that generation. There are some many of these stalwarts who are less talked about but who did form part of this glorious generation that did shape our democracy and the liberation struggle and the armed struggle and were part of the ANC Zumkondo Wesizwe. It does uh, indeed uh, Samgela appear that uh, the, that wealth of wisdom in the ANC is slowly, you know, going away. I mean, recently you had Zola Square uh, departing. Let's uh, come back quickly to the issue of uh, Mendim Smang. And do we know what it is that um, led to his demise? Have we been able to even contact the family, for example? At this point in time, we have not been able to contact the family. I've just, just been, uh, before I came on, I've been working the phone, I've been speaking to some ANC, NEC sources, uh, sources trying to confirm this information, speaking to them, trying to get the nitty gritties of what happened uh, to Dada Mbendi in Simang. And we are, we, as I uh, get off air now, I'm just going to be working my phone and hopefully we'll be speaking to some of the ANC's officials as we'll be going to Lutuli House for their BRICS press briefing. So we'll try to get one of the top six members, preferably uh, the, 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 the president, if uh, Pule Mabe and Kusela Sangoni, the, 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 the spokesperson of the presidency, does allow us to get some sort of a soundbite from the president to get the nitty gritties of what truly transpired. And we will be also trying to head out to the family home to see and when various leaders of the ANC and also to speak to a family representative on what transpired.